Look at that beautiful backsplash that we've started. Hi, Ron knows stuff here. And Mrs. Ron knows stuff. And Coco's over there. So what we did was we pre-cut all those tiles because you're going to have a base all along and you can't have those jagged edges on the base. So we take the tile here, put it in a jig uh, using the, the, the tile saw holders. And you can see we cut a nice flat edge. Now, For enough to do all of them. Notice the drone work. Okay, so I bought a cheap drone. It doesn't work that well, but it sure was fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> all right, so you can see I've kind of measured it all off. And the whole purpose of, of doing this is I'm going to have that same tile all the way throughout. The and kitchen. I'm, all the way throughout the kitchen, yeah. And there's... What did I say? 30? 25? 30? Yeah, know. about 30 linear feet of it. So now that I've got it all cut, here I am drawing the line. So that vacant hole is yeah. where the, the, the range, stove was. Right? Yeah, the yeah. range. Mm -hmm. so, but I got to have a, a line that m matches. Now, this is an older home, so the floors aren't always level. So I had to factor in a pitch in there just a little bit, but you'll see it come lately. So I like to buy the pre-mixed grout, uh, board, uh, what do you call that stuff? Mortar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that this way I don't have to uh, stop and mix and stop and mix. And it's a small job and it doesn't require that much. So buying the pre-mixed stuff works out really well. Now so you, you just put a piece of cardboard down there to block it from getting on the countertop. Exactly. Now you probably can hear me cooking sausages. Um, who doesn't like sausages? So it's keeping me entertained while I'm uh, narrating this video. So you want to make sure that you get this mortar speckles yeah. for the tile everywhere, but nice and neat. Right. And you're using a small grooved um, trowel. And you can kind of see that if you zoom in a little bit. Because uh, you don't want it going through the, uh, the space in the, or the seams, if you will, between the tiles. Because that's where the grout's going to go. Right. So if you get a little bit, that's okay. But as you can see, I'm just pressing it on there. Now I've pre-cut straight edges for that corner. See those little tiny pieces? Yeah. yeah right. So to and, finish it off. Right. And I'm just using a screwdriver there just to get them set up evenly. I started in that corner and now I'll work my way out. Uh, you can see that I'm going to need to do tile from the top, but I've only cut the, the linear uh, footage that's going along the base. So I will come back in a future video and show you how to do the top and get a nice clean edge. And how to do the grout. Yeah, and do the grout. So this is probably the first of two or three videos. But this was the first part. It's a long and part. And you're putting a little spacer in there to make sure it stays evenly spaced throughout. That's what that little... Yeah, like exactly. You're in there. Right. Now I've had to I've removed the outlet covers. Because what's going to happen is later on I'm going to come back and I'll cut. Uh, custom cut. Custom cut the tiles. I got nippers. Mm -hmm. And I'll also use the tile saw, the wet saw, to make everything um, fit in nicely. I also have outlet extenders. And I'll show those to you. You can get those anywhere. and um, That sells them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, But yeah, they're very easy to find. But I'm going to do all that later because you see how nasty that outlet looks and how pretty those tiles look. So we're going to change out those regular outlets for pretty white. And um, you just did a simple cut ones. of using the netting and cut out it just. Yeah, I used a box cutter. Yeah, that's all. So you can see there's a, a gap that you'll have to custom cut again. Right, and cut. again, it's no issue because um, I have all the saws. So here I've got the range pulled out of my way. And to do that... And you've uh, got a line drawn. You can see it right there. Right. And now I did compensate because, you know, like I say, the counters up on one side of the range are a different height than the other. So uh, when I drew the line, I, 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 I know where it is. I drew the two lines so, to, so I can see the difference. So I can see how much I need to make up um, for this, the, uh, the two different counter heights. But the cabinets and counters are level. Correct. Right. They are level. But so. they are separated by the range. Correct.
case you're wondering what that noise was, Ron just dropped an egg and it started to crack, but he can still save it. Oh, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> making a little bit of a mess over here. So, there's And then no you can just see he's really trying to make sure that he's keeping it level yeah. to the line on this video and wiping off excess because we've got to go back and do grout and we want the grout to fit in nicely and not have the the back right adhesive on the front of it. Now that mortar that I'm applying, you can also what they call back butter and what that means is uh, buttering is putting the mortar on. You can oh, put it on the back of the tiles yeah, instead. Exactly, and then smush it on, which I may or may not do depending on um, Well, we might try it, see yeah. what it's like. But there you can see I'm removing the excess so that when I go to put on the next let row of tile, I don't have to contend with having some sneaking out between the seams. It'll give me a nice level tile and uh, smooth for laying it smooth right, surface. Mm -hmm. Right. But you can see how beautiful that tile is. We got that on clearance. Um, no. No, we didn't? No. Oh. We didn't get it on clearance. <laughs> oh. Well, we got a sale. But shh, don't tell Ron no stuff that we didn't get it on clearance. <laughs> but, it's, it's one of the splurges I did. <laughs> all right. But we're still under 5000 for this whole kitchen. Yes. Yes. Okay. I did win a gift card to oh, okay. help purchase it. Well, that's okay. Yeah. So... Um, but the 5,000 includes replacing those outlets, which we're going to see in a future video and, uh, all the shelving, all the paint, all the supplies, you know, the stuff we've been doing, you've been following us for a while. And if you haven't, you should start <laughs> by yeah. subscribing. Yes. And when you do subscribe or, you know, if you don't choose to, that's okay, but we'd love for you to, because it really helps us. Anytime you subscribe, we get a new subscriber, we buy a kibble for Coco. So help Coco out and subscribe. But anyway, we do have everything in playlists. So if you if you go to the channel and you'll see uh, how to home, that's where you see all these uh, about this house remodeling that we're doing. And speaking of house remodeling, should we tell them what we're up to? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Well, you'll have to subscribe to find out what we're up to because. Ron knows stuff and Mrs. Ron knows stuff. Well, we just don't let um, grass grow under our feet. And uh, that's okay, enough. That's enough. <laughs> well, you'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. So I'm just going to finish this side and the window side so that, um, man, when I come up next time, I just have to cut the other corner and then uh, start doing the tops. But having a good wet saw, having the right tools is well worth it. Think about it this way. You're saving money on labor. So use some of that money to buy the right tools so that you get the right job. I mean, well, if, what is this? The third time we've used the wet saw? We've, we've done tile in several places now. Yeah. And, and I will tell you that. Um, and here you are taking off the faceplate of this outlet. Yeah. It's... And then those cardboard pieces he used to protect our countertops are actually the cardboard pieces that were in the package with the tile that set, you know, that keep the tile safe in between each layer of tile. Yeah, packing cardboard. So it wasn't right. like a special purchase. We just recycled something we use what you got. got. Yep. So, um, but yeah, buying the right tools, you, you the whole idea of do it yourself is to save money. Absolutely. But do it right. Do it right. Make it easy on yourself. Spending, I think I spent a hundred. <laughs> thank you. Oh, Coco. thank you, Coco. She says one hundred and fifty on that wet saw, um, <laughs> and I got it at Harbor Freight. You can shop around and see what you like, but I do like the wet saws that are <laughs> the kind that you saw uh, me use um, because they they and he's just with the right tools. Up. This is going super fast. I mean, look at how fast it's going. So here I'm going to have to put some more pieces around the end. I'm just showing you what that's going to kind of look like. So I'm kind of getting an idea of what's ahead of me. So I can see how many rows I'm going to do. But you'll see that's going to go all the way up. It's going to look really neat. Oh, here's a better shot. So we're going to go all the way up to that cabinet. And I'll probably have to cut some more. But that line will go all the way across. So... Here I am finishing the wall with the sink. Now there's a window there too, 
So we're going to take, um, we're going to buy another stair step because that's what we use for the shelves. And we're going to put that in for the window ledge. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. that'll look really neat. I was like, where are you going with this? Yeah. <laughs> sometimes I worry about him. Well, sometimes you should worry about me. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah. So um, I didn't turn the power off when doing all this. That's because I knew I wasn't going to be touching anything. But if you're afraid of electricity or just... You know, I love it getting electrocuted. Turn the electric off. Yeah. When you're working around the outlets, turn the electric off. Um, just to keep yourself safe. And I don't want anything to happen to you because you are one of my valued subscribers. Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to get pretty close to the end of this video. Uh, if you have questions about this process or any other process, please give us a comment, a like, a share. Let us know what you want to know. We're happy to answer questions. And if I don't know it, uh, first of all, I'll be surprised. But second of all, I will tell you something with the sound of authority. So you'll think that I do know what I'm talking about. Well, and we have a resource. Google? Phil fills oh. in the gap because he knows even more stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's true. You so like that you... shout out, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to know if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. Yes. So we do really love the way this kitchen is coming out. And uh, you're going to love it when it's all done. I know we are. So I'm moving the, the outlet out of the way because, you know, uh, I got to be able to remove it to put the new ones in. And if I've got it tiled in, it's not going to happen. I'm just testing the sausage. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Good gracious. So I'm trying not to get in the way, but I will. And as you can see. He's left-handed, folks. It makes hard camera work from the other angle. <laughs> yeah, it does. So I'm shooting all my videos with a, um iPhone 12 mini. What do you think about the quality? Should I go towards um, getting a GoPro? Leave your comments in there because, uh, you know, Ron knows stuff, wants to make sure that I'm giving you the quality content that you want and uh, stuff that's fun to do. So thank you very much for watching this far into it. And if you are in this far, please put a comment. There might be a prize that I send out to one lucky random commenter. You okay? Yeah, I have a Volkswagen Jack that I don't have a Volkswagen for. Oh, that's what everybody's wanting. Yeah. Or I might find something else. <laughs> so again, we're just about done with this process. As you can see, yes, I did speed this up. But doing all the pre-cuts like I did, I mean, what? how long did it take me to do what, what, what's done so far? Was it even an hour? Yeah, it was like an hour and a half, actually. Was it really? Yeah, but oh, it went, went fast. fast for you. Yeah. So that's all that matters. Yeah. and got to keep them working, folks. And again, <laughs> doing some pre-work, taking your time, but buying the pre-mixed uh, mortar. But this will give it a more finished look and just yeah. knock up the kitchen or puts the kitchen up another notch. I mean, notch. if you look at this, this is really pretty. So we thank you very much again for watching and subscribing. Coco's really excited because she's about to get a treat because we just got another subscriber. Yay! <laughs> she had a sausage. <laughs> She's loving it. She really is. You know, I'm thinking maybe I didn't need this video to be this long. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wanted to be thorough. Yeah, and but but look at how nice that looks. And look how easy it is to do. Yeah, this really isn't hard, folks. When you get and the... you were seeing it in real time before, so you can see really how smoothly and easily it can go. Yeah, and. Just having the right tools, I can't express that enough. Do it yourself. Watch YouTube videos like mine and um, ask questions. And then just go for it. There are no dumb questions. Nope. Nope. But if somebody wants to take that challenge on and find one, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put it in the comments. Yes. So soon, uh, Cindy, uh, with all the money. Hello. As soon, <laughs> soon with all the money that we've saved by us doing it ourselves, Mrs. Ron No Stuff is going to buy me a brand new truck. Really? 
Yeah. Well, it might be new to you. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> so you can see we do have one more wall to do, but we're doing this project up till this corner. Yeah, because I didn't pre-cut the uh, other corner, and I'll tell you why. Because you, you have to start in one spot, and then that's going to dictate the size of the tiles going all the other directions. So I couldn't really cut this corner until I got to this spot. And I didn't want to set up the wet saw just for this one cut. Uh, because again, I pre-cut everything. That and we were seen. heading back. So this was kind of a yeah an evening, last minute idea look, to look start. Look at this, huh? Yeah, looking good. Isn't that nice? Yeah. So again, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends about Ron No Stuff. And bye for now. Bye. Coco, say bye. Woof, woof, woof.